I'm very happy to have with me today the newest addition to the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Vijay Keswani. Vijay, welcome to IIT Delhi. Thanks so much. So, Vijay, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you coming from? Yes. So, I did my PhD at Yale University, where I was primarily with the statistics and data science department. Following that, uh, the last two years I spent at Duke University doing my postdoc, where I worked with an amazing set of interdisciplinary scholars and a great team that included philosophers, computer scientists and neuroscientists. Yeah. Wow, now I'm intrigued. Tell us a little bit about your research area. Yes. Uh, so the most concise way to put it is that I study ways to build responsible computing. Uh, the idea is that we want to understand the kinds of impacts modern technologies like AI, ML systems have on society, on individuals, on our societal institutions. How do we formalize those impacts? How do we quantify the harms that they might be causing to marginalized communities? And how do we suggest ways to build better technological solutions? And this field kind of includes a lot of important subtopics that feature in my work. Uh, things like AI ethics, uh, algorithmic fairness, um, AI alignment and participatory technologies, all of these are important ways that we can improve the kind of impacts that technologies have on us. So this is, a, I think, a very relevant and important, timely uh, research area. I think that as new systems are being adopted and there's an interest in many sectors to adopt these systems, the questions of responsibility and impact will come up in a large way. So uh, it, le it leads me to wonder, so there are a lot of players in India, private uh, players, government players, other non-government players. What would you uh, like to say through this video to uh, external stakeholders? How would you like to interact with them? What conversations do you want to have? For sure, yeah, that's a great point. And in fact, there's a general amount of anxiety and concern uh, and just uh, curiosity about the ways that these modern technologies will continue to impact us right. and they're, the ways that they're already impacting us in our daily lives. Yeah. Um, and the stakeholders uh, in this in this entire uh, social setting include a lot of organizations that go beyond just the technical organizations, the technology-based organizations that are either developing or studying these tools. Uh, players in the government would be great in terms of understanding the, in terms of understanding the constituencies and their needs and demands and what, what kinds of technologies are helpful in improving different aspects of social welfare. Uh, folks at non-governmental organizations have their ears closer to the ground, understanding better the needs of marginalized communities whose voices will be super important in creating equitable right. technologies. And people at industry can help us build better solutions if we can provide them with some kind of research foundations and those collaborations will be very useful in building technologies that benefit us all. So all of those folks need to be uh, coming together and uh, part of my goal with my research is to create spaces and uh, uh, or, and and workshops and things like that where we can all come together have and have these conversations. And of course, yeah. uh, universities as partners as well because you know this is a very new area, Absolutely. so not a lot of know-how in this area. Uh, tell me, our students, when our students uh, think of working with someone like yeah. you, what are the kind of skills that they need, and what kind of work can they expect to do? Right on the technical side of things. Uh, basic understanding and a good foundation in topics in uh, statistics and data science is always very useful because if you think there's some kind of uh, AI uh, domain or a technological domain that you want to analyze, you can directly get started with thinking about how to collect data from there and analyzing that. Um, theoretical understanding of how we build MLAI systems or how we uh, build computing technologies is always great because you can think about modeling these kinds of sure. impacts that technologies have and suggest ways to mitigate any kind of harmful impacts. Uh, but beyond the technical side, I think one of the things that I would demand from my students is a healthy level of curiosity. Yeah. Um, a lot of my work is very interdisciplinary and I am constantly learning and exploring other subjects to see what can I uh, understand from existing scholarship and how can I bring those lessons to responsible computing and I would uh, I would. I, I think I would want students working with me to have a similar kind of curiosity. Yes, I think nowadays our students are interested in a lot of interdisciplinary work. Absolutely. So finally, tell me, why did you choose to come to IIT Delhi? Yes, uh, I 
talk, as we talked about with stakeholders, there's all the stakeholders are have a presence in Delhi, so this seemed like a great place to be uh, to be at the center of this conversation about responsible computing. Yeah. Great. Well, we are very glad to have you. Welcome again Thank to you. IIT Delhi. Thank you so much.